Should I just tag I don't know what but should I just tag this side mission as the the best Superman game on, on the market? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that was sick as fuck. <laughs> Excuse me, better me. Excuse me. Bike, hold together. Maybe I can vent some of this excess charge by depleting it with a speed boost. Woo! Gotta get over there somehow. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can we just brush past the part where you just boosted a bicycle? <laughs> You added, basically, rockets to a bicycle. This thing fucking... <laughs> in the midst of the most unprecedented time in modern history, a hero rises to change his costume. What award show is Spider-Man hosting that he feels the need to change his outfit so frequently instead of providing any kind of meaningful assistance to the authorities? I don't know what his game is, but he seems to be more preoccupied with his wardrobe than the impending doom this city faces. As these creatures terrorize the streets, take comfort in knowing that the Spider-Man have sleek new outfits to wear to make sure they look their best for the end of the world. Has it ever been clearer? They do not care about us. Selfish, egotistical sociopaths. I'll tell you, in all my years, I would have not guessed that this is what I'd be reporting on as the world ended around us. Life is unpredictable. The only thing we can count on is the Spider-Man only doing what's best for them. I mean, I could give him shit about the suits, but then, um, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I'm still not done. <laughs> Spider-Man grows. Spider-Man's first stone. Move fast, Spider-Man, or you can never I don't like it. Well, I already failed. Did somebody just yell throwing fire? I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. <sighs> Are you sure it's it's a big city? I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. <laughs> Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you. Always. Hey, bro. See this right here, this is how the next trilogy of Spider-Man movies can end. Miles uh, taking over from Spider-Man, Spider and Peter stepping back. <laughs> I'm still I'll give it till the next game. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, we're we playing that shit from the trailer. <laughs> like that's the game. They finally included it in the fucking... What was that? <laughs> just really going, I've seen this before. <laughs> I guess when people hear the word rare, they just want it.
a web from his guts. So violent. <laughs> Where is that plant? We couldn't have walked far. Jesus Christ, I gotta stop us being destructible! <laughs> and so is... what? Okay. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Let the mystery begin! <laughs> it's literally the pose, isn't it? Am I crazy? <laughs> so I'm getting up here, I'm looking for prowler stashes and photo ops. <laughs> wow, that is instant. <laughs> hmm. It's funny, because one I saw purple over there. Oh, it is purple, but I think that's part of the building, not the... Oh, I know, this, uh, this section is going to be imperative to the story somewhere, because why the... Craven's a hundred. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's just that dressing. <laughs> okay. You know how I said that Ed Miles mysterious who looks like a Power Rangers? No, these look like fucking Power Rangers. Look, there's the White Tiger. There's the Red Ranger. There's the Green Ranger. <laughs> Still got work to do. What the fuck? Miles? What happened, Miles? Did you have a fucking spot? Are you okay? Do you need help? <laughs> so, I mean, look at this guy. I mean, he looks so cool. This is If this is what Mysterio looks like in villain form, go for it. Welcome to my mystery. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, hello, Jenna. Not the one about the criminal who went to prison and came out a better person? Me either. But that's what Quentin Beck would have us believe. After his numerous crime sprees, <laughs> who could forget when he made Spider-Man look like a moron chasing an imaginary flying bus of school children while he made off with two million in diamonds. He finally landed himself where he belonged. Behind bars. Now he's out and wants us to accept him back into society as a fully rehabilitated individual. Let me tell you something. I know one thing to be 100% certain. People do not change. Once a criminal, always a criminal. I don't know if this was a clerical error in our judicial system, but there is no way this man has paid his dues and repented for the damage he's caused. Do not trust this con artist. Attend his attractions at your own risk. And while we're at it, I can think of two other costume criminals that belong in prison with Beck. But that's for another podcast. <laughs> I don't blame you. I, as soon as I saw Mysterio, my immediate thought is, please make him a villain. Please make him a villain. Please make him a villain. <laughs> if the reports coming in from Brooklyn are to be believed, these Spider-Men have grown more powerful than we feared. Magic portals, subway cars, <laughs> fire engines flying through the night sky, and the newest Spider Man at the center. Oh, property damage weren't enough. Now we add mystical arts into the mix. Does their desire for destruction know no bounds? I almost feel sorry for this lost soul, groomed for a life of criminality and degradation. Speaking of it, it seems Spider Man was cohorting. With notorious thief, the Black Cat. Their costumes must be cut from the same corrupt cloth. If their entanglement doesn't paint a clear enough picture of Spider Man's intent, then here's a little story for you. The Spider Men show up, and the group we now know as the Hunters follow. Clearer now? These Spider Men are magnets for malefactors. Now, the Black Cat seems to have vanished. Good riddance! If magic is indeed real, then we must hope upon hope that someone out there is using it for good and will erase the stain in our city known as the Spider-Men. May we go one day without another spider incident. 
<laughs> oh yeah, Miles went portal hopping with Felicia because she went and, uh, went and raided uh, Doctor Strange's Sanctum Santorum. <laughs> you can imagine Peter listening to this and just sort of thinking, there, I was like, hey, wait, wait on a minute, and just sort of whipping out his toe, just like, you know, Miles, what the fuck, Miles, what's this I'm hearing about magic portals? Oh yeah, it's, uh, oh yeah, some weird shit's been happening. <laughs> Saved by the train. Oh my god! And the sandcastle competition starts now! And no cheating! <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Thank God for the war towel. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you dropped your phone, so which means we're gonna have to. You could just, I suppose, hang on, where's the exit? I suppose we could just, you know, leave the zoo, but no, because you're MJ, we're gonna have to want to go into the fucking thing. Okay. <laughs> that was unintentional, but that fucking. I must be getting better at this fucking web, uh, web winged balaki. One last thing. I got a little something for you. We're in good health. Love you. Wow, that is absolutely awful. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, this is... Uh, I'm calling this the... <laughs> oh, it's the life story suit. Okay. But no, this is awful. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm... Is there styles to this? Is there options? There are options. Maybe this... Uh, maybe this... Uh, I could find an improvement. Nope, this one makes it, no, most of them make me look like a race car driver. 